Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make your very own at-home screen ride. We all know classic screen rides. You have Soarin' at Disney, Flight of Passage at Animal Kingdom, Transformers or Spider-Man at Universal. So let's make our own. You are gonna need a total of five different things. You're gonna need a projector, a projector screen, a laptop or something that'll play video. You need a sound system and you need an old beat up recliner chair. That's what I use. So come on, let me show you how it's done. Projector, check. Projector screen, check. Laptop, check. One speaker, two speakers, sound system, check. And lastly, the old beat up recliner. Check. I am a huge movie person, always have been. I watch them all the, t all the time. And in my attic, we love, me and my family, we love to watch projection movies. We used to use this screen right here, but during COVID time, I was like, you know what? I have an idea. So what I did, this window here, my attic is split into two halves and each half is the same. So I have one window here and one window over there. I was really bored one day during COVID time and I just thought about like, what if I used the entire wall, even though it's curved, what if I used the entire wall to as a projection screen? So that's exactly what I did. I got a, a, a bed sheet and put it right there. And then I painted some cardboard and put it there. While a video is playing, you really can't tell that it's there. Okay, so here's how it's gonna work. I'm gonna place the recliner here and we have the two speakers right there for some surround sound. And then we're gonna have the projector projecting onto this projection screen. First, I gotta move these posters out of the way. Here's the thing, a recliner doesn't move on its own. Therefore, I'm gonna have to be the one who's gonna be moving it manually while a friend is in here enjoying the ride. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on the projector, let that boot up, and then we're gonna check over at the laptop and make sure everything is connected. I need an HDMI cord going to the projector and I need to put the um, speakers in. Now the only thing left is to go to YouTube, look up a video that is to your liking, whatever you want, one that I like to do is Jimmy Neutron's Nicktoon Blast. It is no longer a real ride because it was replaced at Universal Studios with Minion Mayhem. But I grew up with this ride, so just having someone else be in the chair, it's super nostalgic for me, and I love to show people what the ride was like. So let's get to it. We're going to turn down the lights. We're gonna block all of the windows so that there's minimal daylight in here. And now that it's dark in here and everything is set up, the only thing left to do is to hit play and run over there so that you could start moving the chair. So another thing that you can do to make it an even better experience for whoever's sitting in the chair, this chicken right here in the actual ride, when it blows like that, it used to send out a smell. So I used to get glades and uh, spray it like near the chair, but not on the person. I used to spray it around the chair. And I also had a plug-in heater at one time and a fan too, that way they felt air and heat. Um, I also had a spray bottle for water, so whenever they go into water, like right here, like right here, whenever what was on screen went into water, I used to spray it straight up in the air so it would land on the person. I used to be really creative with it. So yeah, make sure to give it a try, it's super fun. Let me show you what the person in the chair is seeing. Pretty awesome. 
Friends usually love it. I mean, it's the best an at-home screen ride is gonna get. Let's try another one. Let's go with the Simpsons ride at Universal. This hate from me. And now, enjoy your ride. It's about to be demolished. While you're riding. I won't kill you in an amusement park as long as you have it. Fly backwards. Oh, and you're going to your car. Oh, you guys haven't seen a giant steel ball, have you?